H Cuties. Just another manic Monday here at HQ HQ. How's it by you? Did you see Will Smith bungee jump out of a helicopter into the Grand Canyon for his 50th birthday? Did you see our president literally become a laughing stock on the world stage while speaking in front of the UN General Assembly? So true. So true. Or did you spend the whole day at your local comic book shop celebrating National Comic Book Day? Remember, not all heroes wear capes. Some dress as a Jehovah's Witness for a Book of Mormon parody on Broadway theme night. Oh, you missed that show last night? What a Good thing I'm back tonight, baby, with a brand spanking new edition of HQ. And we got a whole lot of players live in the game right now. Over 400,000, including Jillian and Jar of Hope, Andrew Klein, Christine in Ottawa, Chrysalis1281, Morgan and Kevdan, Sarah Gorman. Good luck on your test. And happy birthday, Casey Previtt. You're in the Marines. Your parents miss you. Thank you for your service. You know the drill bit, Taylor, by now, don't you? How this whole thing works? I ask 12 questions. You start easy, gradually increasing in difficulty. You must answer all 12 questions correctly. And if you do, you win straight cash, homie. If you emerge victorious and remember to thank the bus driver, you'll be splitting the pot of 5,000 deviled eggs, 5,000 dill pickles, 5,000 Dunkin' Dollars. You can afford cooking class with that kind of money. Learn how to make your own deviled eggs. I don't think it's very hard. A little mayonnaise. Or you could take your share of the winnings in a role in night school, study up for tomorrow night's show, in which you'll be playing for $100,000 and no splitsies tomorrow. We're looking for the one. One age cutie to rule them all. One winner takes all. That game is presented by Night School, the movie starring Kevin Hart in Theaters Friday. And guess what? Kevin will be starring in HQ with me tomorrow. Oh, hell yeah. We ordered a bunch of apple boxes for him. We are good to go. You definitely want to use an extra life for tomorrow night. Refer your friends to get an extra life or play five days in a row. If you got a bunch of the tank, why not use one tonight too? Huh? And swipe away that chat if it's bothering you. You don't need that distraction. Oh my god, I I've been so distracted by the craziness at HQ this week that I forgot to introduce myself. I am Scott Rogowski, your host with the Hollow French Toast. Literally, I made some for dinner uh, tonight. Uh, excuse me, uh, uh, I'm Gordon Ramsay, and you call this oh, French Toast? This is my French Toast that I, that I, that I made today. You, yes, I, I cooked this, I, I made it myself from scratch, Gordon. Uh, really? Yes. Uh, I wouldn't scratch my ass with this stuff. Look at it. Oh, It's that's... disgusting, it's soggy and... Look at the mess! Oh! Uh, oh! Um, you know, I was planning to eat that. Um, I've also, you know, considered myself kind of a chef. I was going to go to culinary school. I'm a bit of a magician in the kitchen. Really? Yeah. Call yeah. me Harry Fudini. But seriously? You want to be a chef? Yeah. Because I've always wanted to host a food quiz show. Really? Yeah. You I want to host a quiz show? Yeah. Well, Mr. Celebrity Chef, why, this is your big chance. Why don't you take the wheel for a cumero numero uno, huh? Right. You got this? Let's go. All right. You're going to insult go. my food? Let's go. There go we go. It. Right. Uh, listen up. Now, you can easily make crunchy croutons for your salad at home using what? Bread, fuzzy sweaters, stress dreams. Oh, is that, come on, is that hosting? You uh, call that hosting? Uh, yes. I wouldn't trust you to host a baby shower. I, I wouldn't have you run a bath, let alone HQ. This is a game show, not a lame show. Why don't you get out of here? Yeah, that's terrible. Really? The answer's bread. The answer's bread, of course. Come on, 479,693 of you got that one right. Yeah, he's going after my French toast. He thinks he can... Forget about it. Q2. Waist trainers are modern versions of what article of clothing? Tiny hat, fanny pack, or course... Waist trainers are painful, constrictive contractions marketed to folks who desperately want an hourglass-shaped body without any of the hassle of good diet and exercise. It's basically the 21st century version of the 19th century corset. Of course it, it is. 388,102 of you are tightening up for Q3. In baseball, which player's position behind home plate, third baseman, catcher, or shortstop? In the baseball justice system, home plate is represented by two separate but equally important groups. The umpire who calls balls and strikes, and the catcher who catches the ball. These are their stories. Shout out my favorite catcher, the greatest in Mets history, Josh Tolley. 372,350 crouching for Q4 wearing the tools of ignorance. What was the title of the founder of the People's Republic of China? Prime Minister, President, or Chairman? Maybe you learned about a man named Mao Zedong in history class who founded the PRC in 1949 as a single party state controlled by the Communist Party of China. Ultimately responsible for the death of an estimated 50 to 70 million of his own people. Chairman Mao, they called him. 193,647. Getting this one right, but I'm throwing the chair at 174,000 of you. Sit down. You're out. 
the long march continues for 193,000 of you. Q5, by definition, being part of the hoi polloi means you're part of what? Aristocracy, commoners, or government? A hoi polloi. If you're mixing with the hoi polloi, you're like the girl in that pulp song who wants to live like common people. Who wants to do whatever common people do? Commoners is the answer. Ooh, yeah, I'm going to call a savage question here, Q5. We just lost 132,000. Oh, the HQ manatee. 66,176 knew that hoi polloi is the Greek word for the masses. Yeah, but the rest of you need to rent a flat above a shop, cut your hair, and get a job. You're out of the quiz. Q6. Which of these classic pasta dishes usually includes tomatoes? Penne all'arrabbiata, spaghetti carbonara, or cacio e pepe? Man, this question is making me hungry. I, uh, I guess that French toast is no longer an option for tonight. Ah, well. Yeah, I, oh. yeah just, uh, yeah, my delicious uh, penne all'arrabbiata. Oh, oh my look gosh. Chef, magical. Chef Ramsey, you came back. You, finesse. you whipped this up in the last six questions? Yes. In about... Four minutes you made, you made, this actually looks amazing. Do you mind if I have a bite now? I'm getting really hungry. Oh my gosh. Come on. Mm. No, that's, that's how you make pasta. Yes. That is the Gordon Ramsay special right here. Dente. Al dente. Per perfecto. Magnifico. Grazie mille. I, I think we've learned something here tonight, Chef. Right. I, I think we need to stay in our lanes. Uh, I think I should stick to quizzing and you should stick to cooking. Yeah. What do you, what do you think? No, you want to, you want to keep quizzing? I mean, I'll keep eating if you want no, to keep quizzing. No, go for it. No, 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 I enjoyed one of the tea. Would you like a glass of wine? Uh-huh. Right at the start, which film franchise was a competitive driver? Uh, diver! Diver! So, John diver. Wick, yep, the yep. transporter. Okay. All right, get out of here. <laughs> you screwed up again. Unbelievable, this guy. A competitive diver. Talking about Jason Statham. Yeah, yeah, you know him. You know him, Gordon, your, your, your countryman. He was in the 1990 Commonwealth Games representing England. He's the star of the Transporter Trilogy. He should be playing Aquaman. Well suited for the water there. 21,986. Kicking A and taking names to Q8. I do need a glass of wine for that penne. The Vikings consider the Norse god Uller the god of what? Snowshoes, boat building, or summer? Mm. You try to ask a chef to ask a question. And that's what you get. Competitive driver. I'm sure you remember that Uller is the son of the grain goddess Sif, and therefore steps on a Thor, of course. He was an expert archer, skier, and skater boy. Ice skating. Also snowshoeing. Yeah, next time you strap tennis rackets to your feet, say a little prayer for Uller. Praise be. 4,070 getting this right on another savage question. Oh, boy, Alberto. Oh, my land, the 4,070. Getting this one right. The snowshoe must go on for you. But we lost over 10K there. Q9. Which author's work inspired one of Lana Del Rey's album titles, Anthony Burgess, Red Easton Ellis, or Vladimir Nabokov? Oh, they're starting to get harder now. Any of your droogs flew in a NADSAT? Make up your Rasadukes. Your Rasadocs. Lana's second major label record, released in 2014, borrows from Alex's favorite activity in a clockwork orange, a bit of the old ultraviolence. The movie, produced and directed by Stanley Kubrick and adapted from the 1960s novel by Anthony Burgess. Anthony Burgess is your answer. Oh, man, a brutal question here. Slightly savage. 1,523 left after this one. Head into the Karova Milk Bar at Q10. Booze dumplings are most popular in which country? Mongolia, Thailand, or South Korea? You have a boozy brunch today? No, not that kind of booze. Every nation has its own version of a dumpling, and the delicious booze, usually filled with minced mutton or beef, come from the Eurasian steppe, specifically Mongolia, home of the Mongols. 1831, got that one right, crossing the Gobi. Mong going to Q11, the penultimate question tonight. What video game franchise based its combat system on American football? Kingdom Hearts, Assassin's Creed, or Final Fantasy? The designer of this RPG battle sequence, Hiro Hiroyuki Ayo, has said that football's concept of two sides lining up and taking turns with pre-planned strategic moves inspired his work on Final Fantasy. Fantasy, as, as Gene Simmons would say. 1412. Got 
this one right, the final countdown continues to, to Q-Tel. But before we get there, Gordon, I want to... This is special. Oh. Is that... What are you? Oh, my God. A, a, a HQ what? I'm, a, I'm an idiot sandwich. Louder. I'm an idiot sandwich. Louder. I'm a French toast idiot. Gordon, get back here. Before before we get to Q12, <laughs> I was reminded that some of our age cuties yes. kicked us some pictures of their own meals. You know, you dissed my French toast. Yes. I was promoting your good work on the penne. But we have some photos sent in to us from HQDs. I know everyone's waiting for Q12, but we're not getting there yet. I want to get your take on some of these dishes. Let's take a look at Ooh, look at that. Um, that's not too bad, actually. That's looks, quite nice. Nice little ricotta yeah, cake looks, there. Yeah, it looks like it's been sliced with a chainsaw. <laughs> yeah, not great. <laughs> yeah. How about this? Oh, this is avocado oh, toast. Oh, man, how many mice has he got? That is terrible. <laughs> what He's supposed then? to mash the avocado, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly that. That's not just chunk it up and... What is that? I believe that's a hot dog bunt cake. Yeah, stop smoking. Yeah, yeah, now, and um, get to bed. Let, let Quickly. Yeah. An idiot sandwich made that yeah, one. Exactly. It's Q12 time, Gordon. Right. Q12 um, time. Are you ready for this? Yes. The final question, Q12, it all boils down to this. It's the final fantasy. Could be yours, $5,000. Gordon Ramsay gave me a couple of loaves of olive French toast. You're out here with me. You're, I'm not letting you leave now. Q12. Uh, I'm going to read it, though. Okay, go off your the actor behind which classic TV character voice roles in the Power Rangers TV show and film. Jack Shepard, Don Draper, or Walter White? You do? Oh, yes. You're a fan of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? Big time. It's Morphin time, baby! The Power Rangers TV show was famously super cheap. <laughs> but they somehow managed to snag the man himself, the danger, Brian Cranston, and even named a character after him. He then returned to voice Zardon in the movie, but best known for Breaking Bad's Walter White! He is the one who knocks, and 866 are the ones who win tonight! Baby! Eight hundred and sixty-six H Q D splitting five thousand dollars. That's five dollars and seventy-seven cents going to Vanantron, Beast Titan, Seahan, Seahangi, John Deere, Pept Clust, Lucid Mer, Memer, Shine Bee, who I guess won six fifty-six previously. So look, you added to you're over thirteen bucks, over twelve bucks now. Nikita Huesos, I don't know. Hello, you did it. Nice selfie there. Five seventy-seven or seventy-eight going. You know you can do it. Five seventy-seven. You can buy a, a nice challah, a loaf of challah bread, and make your own challah French toast. As I'm gonna re remake it now. I'm gonna remake it now that you gave me so so generously provided. Yes, I'm gonna show you how to make some great French toast. I'm gonna take your master class. So after this, that's what I'm gonna do. Gordon Ramsay, how about it? Come back tomorrow night. We got a big show tomorrow. You're gonna be here tomorrow. No. no. Oh, oh, but Kevin Hart will be here tomorrow. Hippie I O 100K. We're giving a hundred thousand dollars to one winner who takes it all. And Thursday night, guys. Tomorrow's Wednesday. That's the big hundred thousand. Thursday night is our theme game. He was a gamer boy. She said, "See you later, boy." Thursday night, we're doing a game night presented by Miller. Yeah, come on by. It's Miller time on Thursday, baby. Thank you so much to Chef Gordon Ramsay. How about this? Coming through. He's about to hop on a plane. All right, back home. You're never doing this again, are you? You never. I'm not letting you do this again. Anything to say for yourself? Uh, no, good to see you. Yeah, Rachel, good to see you. Way. You taking a piss? That, yeah, you yes. taking a piss? <laughs> Stick to presenting. Okay. Stay out of the kitchen. I'll stay out of the kitchen. I'm Scott Rogowski signing off saying, Giuseppe's such a happy monkey.